The Sikorsky MH-53 M Pave Low 4 is one of the most advanced and formidable helicopters ever developed for special operations missions. Designed to penetrate deep into hostile territory under adverse conditions, the MH-53 M Pave Low 4 played a crucial role in U.S. military operations. This small comprehensive report will delve into the history, design, purpose, and performance of the MH-53 M Pave Low 4 highlighting its significant contributions and legacy. The MH-53 Pave Low series originated from the HH-53 Super Jolly Green Giant, with the first Pave Low conversion beginning in the late 1960s. The MH-53 M Pave Low 4, the most advanced variant, was introduced in the late 1990s. The production of the MH-53 series continued until 1970 with subsequent upgrades and conversions occurring over the following decades. The MH-53M variant remained in service until its retirement in September 2008. The aircraft was designed and built by Sikorsky Aircraft Corporation. The MH-53M Pave Low 4 was designed and built by Sikorsky Aircraft Corporation, an American aerospace manufacturer known for its expertise in rotary wing aircraft. Sikorsky developed the MH-53 series to meet the U.S. Air Force's need for a heavy-lift helicopter capable of performing special operations missions under challenging conditions. The sole purpose that it was originally designed for. The primary purpose of the MH-53 M Pave Low 4 was Special Operations and Combat Search and Rescue CSAR. The helicopter was designed to insert and extract special operations forces, conduct rescue missions, and provide support in hostile environments. Its advanced avionics, navigation systems, and defensive capabilities enabled it to operate effectively in low visibility and high threat conditions. It was based primarily in the United States. The MH 53M Pave Low 4 was based primarily in the United States. The U.S. Air Force's Special Operations Command, AFSOC, operated the MH 53M with units stationed at Hurlburt Field in Florida and Kirtland Air Force Base in New Mexico. The helicopter was also deployed to various locations worldwide to support U.S. military operations. Global Production and Deployment While the MH-53M Pave Low 4 was produced exclusively in the United States by Sikorsky, its operational deployment was global. The helicopter supported U.S. and Allied forces in numerous theaters of operation, including Europe, the Middle East, and Southeast Asia. The MH-53M's advanced capabilities made it a critical asset in various conflicts and missions. Technical Specifications and Performance The MH-53M Pave Low 4 is known for its robust design, advanced systems, and exceptional performance. Here are some key technical specifications and performance details. Engine the MH-53M is powered by two General Electric T-64G 100 turbo shaft engines. Horsepower, each T-64 engine produces approximately 4,330 shaft horsepower, shop. Speed, the helicopter has a maximum speed of 165 knots, 190 miles per hour or 306 kilometers per hour. Range, the MH-53M has an operational range of around 690 nautical miles, 793 miles or 1,278 kilometers, with auxiliary fuel tanks. Service ceiling. The maximum altitude the helicopter can reach is approximately 16,000 feet, 4,877 meters. Dimensions. The MH-53M has a rotor diameter of 72 feet 3 inches. 22.02 meters, a length of 88 feet, 26.82 meters, including the rotors, and a height of 24 feet 11 inches, 7.59 meters. Innovative features and design elements. The MH-53M Pave Low 4 incorporated several innovative features and design elements that contributed to its success as a special operations platform. Advanced Avionics Suite the MH-53M was equipped with a sophisticated avionics suite, including the Terrain Following Slash Terrain Avoidance, TF Slash TA, Radar, Forward Looking Infrared, FLIR, System, and Global Positioning System, GPS. 
These systems allowed for precise navigation and operations in low visibility conditions. Defensive countermeasures. The helicopter featured an extensive array of defensive countermeasures, including chaff and flare dispensers, radar warning receivers, and infrared jammers. These systems enhanced its survivability in hostile environments. Low-level flight capability. The MH-53M's advanced flight control systems enabled it to perform low-level, nap of the earth, NOE, flight, reducing its visibility and vulnerability to enemy radar and weapons. Cargo and troop capacity. The spacious cabin could accommodate up to 38 troops or 24 litters for medical evacuation, as well as cargo and equipment for special operations missions. Operational history and legacy. The MH-53M Pave Low 4 has a distinguished operational history, marked by its extensive use in various conflicts and support missions. Operation Desert Storm The MH-53M played a crucial role in Operation Desert Storm, providing support for special operations forces and conducting search and rescue missions. Operation Enduring Freedom During the early stages of the war in Afghanistan, the MH-53M was instrumental in inserting special operations teams and providing logistical support in challenging terrain. Operation Iraqi Freedom The helicopter also saw extensive use during the Iraq War, conducting a wide range of missions, including personnel recovery, direct action, and reconnaissance. Post-Retirement Influence Even after its retirement, the MH-53M PAVE Low 4 continues to influence modern special operations aviation. The lessons learned from its use have informed the development of newer platforms, such as the CV-22 Osprey and the HH-60G PAVE Hawk. The PAVE Low's legacy endures in its contributions to tactics, techniques, and procedures for special operations aviation. Conclusion the Sikorsky MH-53M PAVE Low 4 stands as a testament to the ingenuity and versatility of helicopter design for special operations. Its advanced capabilities, robust performance, and significant contributions to U.S. military operations have left an indelible mark on aviation history. The MH-53M's legacy continues to inspire and inform the development of modern special operations aircraft, ensuring that its impact will be felt for generations to come.